So um, I haven't seen much Snake versus Jigglypuff, but like I, I could assume that it goes that Snake is going to throw 18 grenades out and make it so Jigglypuff can't get in. Yep. Because once Jigglypuff gets in, uh, I'm assuming a lot of things will break out of Cypher out of his up B. I think like Nair will do it, Backer will definitely do it. I think I, I don't think know. Nair's too weak for Cypher. I'm not sure about the per Yeah, I'm not sure about the percents. Whatever the case, he does have to watch out for Backer because Backer is the most likely culprit to break that Cypher. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like he back airs, then he has to return himself around yeah. because of the mechanic. Which is which was a weird addition, honestly. Well, I guess Sakura was getting tired of seeing the back air walls, the wall of bear. All right. Uh, yeah, and both both these characters are very explosive. Uh, Snake literally in jigs. Uh, if she gets the rest, or if she edge guards Snake pretty consistently. Yeah, I believe it's between like Speklar and like Sin between the best uh, Jigglypuffs in SoCal, but I think in Smash Four was definitely Speklar. And, and yeah. honestly, like watching Speklar play and watching all of his reads, it's it's really fun to watch. Uh, Fox 16 again. He he's one of those sleeper players. Where, like he doesn't play a lot, but like he knows a lot about the game. Yeah. And it's honestly fun to have a good conversation with him. Yeah, he has solid fundamentals, but he needs to come out a little bit more so people know his name. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they weren't having the battlefield pick there, just making sure that it's going to go back to normal Pokemon Stadium. Gonna go back into it on Pokemon Stadium 2 here. No Battlefield version yeah. to be seen. Yeah, just a little, little flub coming in, but you know, it happens. So gonna start off. Uh, like I said, Fox 16 immediately going. Yep, okay, Nair does break okay, it out. Okay. Get out, go away. No one likes you. All right, but he does got the C4 there. And okay, fair, fair is, is looked like it's too weak, unless that was like the sour spot. It no. seemed like it was like, like the beginning of fair, so uh, I can't tell. Ooh, Throws the S-Mash, I don't know what that was. Yeah, jump over it, I, I, I dare you. Right? Wait, yep. but now uh, Fox is King finally getting to play the game after 100% that he pretty much had to blow himself up for. Yeah, he's back on state. Oh, uh, made me eat my words. Goes low oh, with the no Nair. No tech though, he's gonna have to blow himself up again. Oh God. Oh, I think I think the uh, pound actually uh, made it so the DI went straight up so he actually died. Really good stuff from Zeklar, taking this first stock already. Like I said, he needed to play like that don't touch me game so he doesn't get hit. And once he got hit once, look what happened. Yeah, and right there, going to get uh, get him with the two forward tilts, or four tilts. I'm not going to get the up tilt, but that shield looking mighty thin. Bro, Ooh. my fav my favorite thing about Snake is when Snake grabs ball-like characters and then grabs them. Because it's, it's just flying. a long gate into this <laughs> awful looking image. The yeah, they are fighting up. Like, the only like better thing was like, when Ness would grab Bowser in Smash 4, Bowser would literally like crumple up into his uh, animation. Oh my god. But anyways, enough of that hand, that up tilt gonna take it and already evening it back up. Alright, gonna send out that up smash there, knowing that Speckler wants to stay in the air, especially since he's chicken buff. Yeah, all these explosions are not doing Speckler any favors. Yeah, a real unfortunate thing about Jigglypuff is the fact that all of her aerials, like, they last for a lot, of, a long time. They're really meaty. So, like, they'll just blow up grenades like that. You saw Fox and King hold a grenade on the platform. Uh, Speckler would fair it, and then it would just go right through it and then yep. still blow him up. So, that's something that uh, both players need to take account for. Yeah, there was not much Speckler could have done there, too, because he was trying to hit Fox 16, but Fox 16 had had a, a grenade and they has up smash ready. Mm -hmm. All right, nice landing fair, going to get the grab into forward throw. Oh my gosh, so much shield damage coming in from that pound. Uh, just gets an F tilt, not going to try to throw him off. Oh, Ooh, immediately nice. hitting him before the uh, up smash comes out. Because yeah, there is a bit of a time between up smash and the actual mortal coming out. Because mm -hmm. like the that part is frame 11, but like up smash doesn't come out to like frame 20 or 30 ish. So like, if you're quick enough and have good enough reaction, you can actually sometimes hit it. Yeah, especially since you have a fast uh, fair, uh, Nair out of shield. True. When you have, when you have a fast uh, out of shield option like that, it should be all uh, it should be all right for you to uh, try and beat it out. That dash attack almost killed him. My God. I don't but think he was even expecting that, but he was definitely not expecting the up throw, uh, the up air. Yeah, either. I really don't like uh, that idea that Fox 16 went for. He tried to do a Nikita up so he can have something else to land with. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he put the Nikita up, and that's what you see a lot of snakes going for. You see AC doing that. But when a character like Jigglypuff can get up there and threaten you, it's like not the smart idea to do. 
And he was just caught right there. I don't think he expected it, but unfortunate. That was definitely uh, Fox 16's game to lose. He literally had to down throw at kill percent, just barely reacted too slow to the read. Yeah, not gonna be able to take that game, but he's gonna reset here into Smashville. It's gonna hopefully work out for his favor, gonna kill off the sides a little bit earlier, but it does also work for Speklar as this this wall. Go, go away. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that was the wall of pain there, baby. <laughs> Was having none of this. He said he had a first, he had a close game one. Yeah, right now Foxy King, he's just retreating to like the ledge a little too much. And so, like, when he's putting himself on the he's edge, saying, go, he back, to, go back to your no stealth way, games. bro. Go back to your stealth games. Why are you here, Snake? Bro, there's no way. Bro, Foxy, yeah, again, Foxy King, he's like going onto the edge, like trying to set up his camp, and Speckle's just hitting him. That's, yeah, oh, he okay, needs to try okay. to stay Ooh. in the center stage a little more if he wants to have a chance to bring this back. The good thing is it's Jigglypuff, and he's already kill percent. Yeah, there we go. Going to get the Nikita and the up smash out. Speckler has to respect it. Yeah, you need Ooh. this You need this uh, stock right now. He's already 50%. I thought he was going to rest him, bro. Yo, I, I, I wish. <laughs> We're going to have our Loki. first three-minute set. Please. <laughs> Come on, go for it. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. no. It's oh, my God. I got protected. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Guys. I'm oh, hyped. No, okay, okay. All right, okay. Speckler is going for it, bro. Speckler is like, I, I got nothing to lose now. Like, but he's definitely he's at, that stock. He's definitely at 140 <laughs> percent, and he's dead. Oh, yes. oh! I wish he went down in there. Speckler, <laughs> Speckler, kind of, huh? On him. He kind of went on. He's like, I don't need 